Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy December 1st. Happy Vlogmas, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited and so nervous and I'm really excited. Oh, I don't even know what to say. It's December 1st, which means it is officially the countdown to Christmas. So if you guys are new to my channel or don't even know what Vlogmas is, A, where have you been? But B, more importantly, welcome, hello, my name's Anika, I live in London, I'm an American as you can see and sound and all that kind of stuff, but I am doing Vlogmas guys, and Vlogmas is a vlog every single day, so a video of recording everything that I do up until Christmas, so I am going to be vlogging until Christmas day, so I'm so excited to take you guys along on this little adventure. Um, I am actually pretty excited because today I am going to go get my Christmas tree! Whoop, 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 whoop! Anyway, Zizi, are you excited for a vlogmas? Are you excited? Oh, Zizi really needs a haircut. Oh, yeah. Yep, we need a haircut. But Zizi's excited for a vlogmas. I'm excited for a vlogmas, guys. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. I am actually going to Ikea to pick up my Christmas tree. So if uh, you don't already know, Ikea does this amazing offer where if you buy a Christmas tree from Ikea, um, anywhere from the end of November until, up until Christmas, I think, up until Christmas Eve, um, Basically, what you do is you pay £29 for that Christmas tree, but IKEA then gives you a £20 voucher to use in store starting in January. So that means that you actually only pay £9 for your Christmas tree. So for the last two years, I have been going to IKEA to buy my Christmas tree from there, and that is what I'm going to be doing this year. But this year is a little bit different, as you guys already know. Um, this year, Christmas, or let's say the Christmas period is somewhat in lockdown. So if you guys don't already know, um, London is in lockdown. I have done previous vlogs on it and I will link that up in the cards for you guys to check out right now. But London is still in lockdown on December 1st. We are actually allowed out from December 2nd. Um, but because of the global pandemic, the um, prime minister said that we have to stay in our houses except for essential travel and um, essential shopping but what ikea is offering is because it's outdoors you can do anything outdoors by the way you're allowed to go outdoors and do whatever you want even shopping as well um they have basically set up their christmas trees outside and what that means is that i can go pick up a christmas tree today guys oh i have to find the perfect tree oh my gosh the stress of finding the perfect tree i remember last year and the year before it took me ages to find the perfect tree Anyways, I have reserved a tree online. So what IKEA is asking everyone to do this year um, is they are asking you to go online and to reserve a tree. So that what you do is you just go online, you enter in your name, your email, and which location you're gonna be picking up your tree from. And then um, they reserve a tree for you until 9 p.m. And I think what that means is that you basically can actually access the tree section and um, pick up your tree. They won't pick the tree for you. I think you can still pick the tree yourself, but obviously this is a first for me and I'm experiencing uh, buying a Christmas tree during the pandemic for the first time. But yay, Vlogmas guys! Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited for Vlogmas. I'm excited to go get my Christmas tree and take you guys along for the 24 days that I'm going to be vlogging straight in a row. Oh my gosh, I'm already overwhelmed and excited and ah! Okay, I'm going to go and get my Christmas tree. So I'll catch you guys at Ikea. In the car on the way to Ikea. I have my big coat on today, actually. I can't believe how cold it's gotten, but it's just like really winter time, I guess. Um, it's really frosty in the mornings now, so I decided to put on my big puffy coat and head out to get my Christmas tree, Christmas tree. I've been singing Jingle Bells all morning. I'm definitely in the festive mood and I can't wait to go hunt down this tree. I'm trying to limit myself to make sure I only get maximum a six foot tree because before I've definitely gotten like eight foot trees and I only have so much space in my flat, especially because, yeah, lockdown made me buy more things. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get my tree. And also, I probably have to pick up an advent calendar. I don't have an advent calendar, so I need to pick that up as well. But let's go get my tree.
So guys, made it to Ikea and I already paid for my tree and as you can see behind me, there are tons of trees to pick from. I got my voucher as well, like I said, I paid 29 pounds, but then you get a voucher for 20 pounds to spend in store next year. So now I have to go around and find the perfect tree that's gonna fit what I want and then I get to take it home. I'm lucky that I'm super early because it's really empty and I'm really keen to find the perfect tree. So let's find a good tree. So all the trees are wrapped up and I have no idea to tell if it's a nice tree or not. But these ones are like the display trees, so I'm just not sure. Like it's so difficult this year. This is a nice tree, but I'm unsure if the tree I'm gonna pick is gonna be actually nice all the way around. Also, I know I always like say I want like a five foot or a six foot tree, which this is like probably six foot because I'm five feet tall, but I keep looking at trees and I'm like, oh, I want like a 12 foot tree. I mean, but I have a flat in London, so I can't have a 12 foot tree. But anyways, I hope my tree is nice and fat all around, like evenly distributed. But I have no idea because they've already all wrapped them all. So it's kind of taking the fun out of getting this tree, to be honest. I just have to be kind of understanding that this year is an exception. But yeah, let me go find the tree, the perfect tree that's wrapped and I'll show it to you. So guys, I think that this is the tree. Now, I can't unwrap it because there's no way to rewrap it. They're already pre-wrapped, as I said. But the way I've judged this, so you guys know, I've kind of taken about a six foot tree, which is the height I want, which is a little bit taller than me. And as you can see all around it, it's pretty like evenly fat all around the tree. And I think evenly fat means that the the actual branches will be like nice and bushy and even, but I don't know until I get home. So I think that this is the winner. I think. Oh, if I can get it home, this is gonna come home with me. Oh, I love the smell of pine. That's why I always get a real tree, is because I can't even smell it through my mask, but I can kind of smell it. But I love the smell of real trees, and that's why I get a real Christmas tree every year. Got the tree, guys. I got the goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got my tree. I'm really hoping for the best here. Who knows if I'm actually gonna like this tree, but. I got it. Now let's get it to the car and get it home. So guys, just in Ikea, although it's just the Swedish market, so it's the grocery section of Ikea that I mentioned before in my Ikea video, and they have gingerbread houses. So you can buy like a little kit to make gingerbread houses at home. And I've never done that, so I'm gonna do that this year. And they have like everything that you can imagine to buy the kit and uh, make it at home. They also have everything for mulled wine and all the Christmas stuff up. So I'm going to just buy these. I'm probably gonna pick up some cinnamon rolls as well. But yeah. So just leaving Ikea, as you guys saw, I actually went in because their Swedish market is open and I picked up a few bits that I just shared with you guys. But that was my fastest trip to Ikea. Last time was my smallest shop. This time is my fastest trip. I have to say I'm really sad that the bistro wasn't open because I always feel the need to have some Ikea like meatballs or something like a hot dog while I'm at Ikea. But sadly, due to obviously restrictions right now, they're not allowed to open that part of the store, but the market was open. So I picked up some cinnamon rolls, which I might have when I get home, but I am hungry and we are now going to head over to uh, Brett Cross Shake Shack because if you guys haven't seen another one of my videos, which I'll link up right now, I have been invited to Shake Shack to try out their new menu. Last time I tried out their pumpkin spice shake, this time I am going to be trying out their truffle menu, which includes truffle burger, truffle fries, all that good stuff. Um, I am in a partnership with Shake Shack. I've done content for them on my Instagram before. I will link my Instagram for you guys down in the description if you want to check all that out. So I've been kind invited to try out this truffle menu now I'll be honest I did try out this menu before so this isn't the first time I'm trying it out but obviously as things are closed right now I am actually only allowed to pick things up and then take them away to go home and eat them so this will be interesting I'm going to go and pick it up from the Shake Shack in Brent Cross and then head home so I will show you guys my menu when I get home so a bit of a detour guys, I'm just in Brent Cross and I walked into Waitrose because I saw their Christmas stuff out. I'm going to pick up a few Christmas bits, but I'm also looking for an advent calendar. I think that I am going to find one here hopefully because I want to have an advent calendar to open up every single day leading up to Christmas. So let's go and find an advent calendar. So found the advent calendars. This is what I'm working with. I'm not sure which one to get. Ooh, they have a milky bar one. 
I love milky bar chocolates. They also just have the Cadbury Dairy Milk. They have ooh, an organic chocolate one. Oh, they have the Limp Teddy Bear one. I think this one might be the winner, but there's so many to choose from. Whoa, there's a fever tree one as well. So many options, I don't know which I've been counting to get, guys. Oh my gosh, I want to get so many. There's this lint teddy bear one that it looks really good. And then there's this other lint one as well, but oh, and they have so many lint chocolate bears. I don't know which one to get, which one to get. Is it okay to get two advent calendars? Like, is that all right? I'm not sure. I've never actually done an advent calendar, but I'm gonna do one this year. Um, yeah, let's, I don't know which one to get. guys got all my food as you can see that's right behind me and they are all in takeaway bags because I have to take them home now and then eat them at home but yeah got all my food here amazing thanks to the Shake Shack team at Frank Frost they were amazing as always and the truffle menu is what I'm here to try out it is this one right here which is tis the season to truffle and it has a black truffle burger but I got the black truffle chicken and this is the full menu so yeah, I am going to take my food home now and enjoy it because socially distanced and all that. So guys, made it home and this is the truffle menu that I was talking about from Shake Shack. So this is the chicken truffle with the, which has truffle in there and I think some truffle mayo as well. The french fries look delicious. It is french fries with truffle mayo, some fried shallots and then some spring onions and then I got two different types of shakes. One is vanilla, one is caramel, and then two different concretes. Also got a side of chicken uh, bites, which I had last time as well, but I am so hungry. I'm ready to eat this. Everything's melting as well as you can see with the shakes. But you can see that it came home in pretty good condition, to be completely honest. Like, they actually package this separately. So when you do takeaway from Shake Shack, they just give you the plain fries and they give everything else in containers, which is really nice because then when you get home, you can just pile it all on top and then you have everything that you want all in a pretty picture. So make sure you check out my Instagram if you guys are interested in seeing this final photo, but I am very hungry and I want to eat. So I'm gonna tuck in. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I'm also super hungry. I really have been running around all day and doing errands and vlogmas and everything, so I haven't even really had a chance to eat, but this burger is so good. I always love their chicken burgers. I haven't tried the fries yet, but I'll tell you what I think in a second. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, these truffle fries, these are worth it. That was worth the journey right now because that truffle mayo that's on those fries are so, so good, so, so good. My fries are a little bit cold, but hey, what can you do? We obviously had to drive home with this food and not eat it in actual Brett Cross Shake Shack, so. But this truffle mayo that's on this french fry, so good. Mm. So guys, got my tree home from Ikea. As you can see, it's resting here for the evening. I am not gonna put it up today. I just have too many other things to do and other errands to run, but this is where my tree is going to live. And then tomorrow, I will be putting it up and decorating it. So make sure you tune in to the vlog tomorrow to see this beautiful tree up and ready to go. So guys, it is quite a few hours later since I last checked in with you and I had lunch. But honestly, today I have been busy running errands as you would have seen already. And it is now dark outside because it is super dark, super early. But I wanted to share with you guys everything I picked up today that is kind of a mini Christmassy haul. It wasn't on purpose. I just got honestly some things from Waitrose and from Ikea and I thought I'd share with you guys. I got these gingerbread kits that you can make gingerbread houses at home. And then it also, came, well, didn't come with, but I bought it separately, like this decoration kit where you can add some color to your gingerbread house, some dime chocolates, because they're orange flavored and they're limited edition, and I love dime chocolates. And then I also got the glue that you need to put the gingerbread house together. Oops, that's my stove. And uh, yeah, so I bought that and then that's everything that I got at Ikea. And then I wanted to show you guys what I got for my advent calendar. So I went to Waitrose, as I said, and look, I got not one, but two advent calendars. Yeah, I know, feeling extra greedy. So this is my first advent calendar and it is from Cadbury Chocolate. I think it's just 
mixed chocolates but a lot of these chocolates that are in this advent calendar i've never actually tried so i wanted to kind of give myself a little bit of a surprise and then there's also this advent calendar that i got which is the lint teddy advent calendar you can see that there's a little teddy bear in there but those are the two advent calendars that i got and i'll open them in a second i want to show you one other thing that i got from waitrose that is fun for christmas i think i showed this when i was in waitrose but i got the waitrose and partners christmas peanut butter brittle oh my gosh there were so many treats in waitrose and it's so hard this time of the year i have to say it is so hard to not eat a million sweets i'm not usually someone that is like a super big sweet fan and i'm actually not even that big of a chocolate fan to be honest but around this time of year it's just like i get really indulgent with all the chocolate so yeah this is my first year doing an advent calendar, so I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, yeah, I got some other like herbs and things from Waitrose that I'm not gonna actually show you because that's just for cooking, but those are all the Christmassy bits that I did get in my little mini Christmas, I guess, adventure today. Um, I am so excited that the tree kind of made it home and everything's fine with the tree. I actually put it out on my balcony, which you guys would have seen earlier. I'm going to be decorating it in tomorrow's vlog, so please make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's open my first day of the advent calendar because it's December 1st and I get to open the first door. So let me open it and I'll show you guys what's in that calendar. So guys, these are my first ever advent calendars, okay? I've never actually done advent calendars for all of Christmas. I've obviously seen a lot of people do these on YouTube, but also in real life, but I've never actually done it. It's not that big of a deal in the US to be completely honest and when I first moved here I totally thought that these were meant for children to be completely honest I didn't think like adults should partake but I absolutely love that like adults kind of just indulge in their inner child and they kind of just do advent calendars I know there's tons of other advent calendars that are super cool like I saw one from fever tree in waitress that was like gin but I obviously want to stay with the traditional and I want to get chocolate. So let's open this one first. So you've got to find door number one. That's the first task. So let's see, where is door number one? Oh, man, this is the hardest part of this game. There's three, there's two, there's one. Okay, so there's door one. Okay, let's open it. Oh, look, I get a little lint chocolate ball. So that's for my first calendar. I'll eat it in a second. I wanna open my second calendar as well. So my second calendar is from Cadbury. And as I mentioned earlier, this one is new to me. I haven't tried a lot of these Cadbury chocolates and I thought it would be fun to try them out on camera with you guys because, yeah, I've never tried them. Man, this is more complicated, okay? This is like, four sides and I have to find one. Okay, one is not on this side. Two is on this side. It's not one though. Man, where's one? Oh, here's one. Found it. Okay. How do I open this? There. Okay, it opens like that. Oh, whoa, this is like a backwards door. Okay, let's open it. Oh, what are you? I've never seen this chocolate before. It's a curly whirly. Hmm, I'm not sure what a curly whirly is, but yeah. What does it say on here? Contains milk, multi-pack. I'll have to try it on camera. Let's, so let's try these two new chocolates. Well, not new, I've had a lint chocolate before, but these are my chocolates for my first day, December 1st advent calendar. So let's try this one first because I have not tried this candy before. Oh, funny shaped. What is this? Is this a pretzel? I don't even know this is. Okay, let's try it. Mmm, it's caramel in the middle. Oh, I'm talking with my mouthful. That's rude. Oh man, that's very rich though. That's nice. Let's try the lit chocolate bar as well. Classic milk chocolate bar from Lint. Mmm. I have to say, again, not the biggest sweet tooth, not the biggest chocolate fan, but I absolutely love that in advent calendars, I get a little treat every single day. Oh, I didn't even realize, but inside of an advent calendar, the doors say stuff inside them. So this one says, what color is monkey painting the guitar? Huh? 
What color is monkey, monkey painting the guitar? Where's the monkey and when is he painting? Oh, here's the monkey and he's painting it blue. But what does that mean? Is it just a game? I guess it's just a game. Oh, I can see. I guess it's to kind of entertain you. Um, but yeah. It says, what color is the monkey painting the guitar? And the monkey's on this side and he's painting it blue. I guess this advent calendar is more for kids to be completely honest, because obviously there's just more activities or things on it. The other one doesn't have a little riddle in the box. So guys, I'm gonna continue eating this chocolate and enjoy my evening. But that brings me to the end of Vlogmas day one. Oh my gosh, we made it guys, we did it. Vlogmas day one, done and dusted. I'm so excited to say that I did it. And I am so excited to be vlogging every single day in December, so Make sure you like this video if you are enjoying my Vlogmas content. And also, if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification because I am going to be uploading a new Vlogmas video every single day until Christmas at 6 p.m. UK time. So make sure you guys tune in. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be decorating my tree. So make sure you guys come back and check out tomorrow's Vlogmas. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing December and getting ready for the holidays. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Bye!